no. Another order. I'll never keep up. Hola, senorita. How's the waitressing going? You're looking a little flustered. They don't call this the muchas piezas for nothing. They've got lots of pieces of quesadillas, and they're all different sizes. It takes me so long to figure each out that I'm behind. Half a dia, eight a dia. Huh, sounds like fractions to me. Ah, uh, fractions. No wonder I'm having problems. Don't go to pieces. With fractions, you just got to think in parts and wholes. Parts and wholes? Yep. Every fraction represents part of a whole. Let's start with that half a dia. How do you get half of a quesadilla? You just cut down the middle. Into two equal parts? Right. So? Take a look at that fraction. Do you see that two on the bottom? It's called the denominator. It tells you the total number of equal parts in the whole. Wow, that makes sense. Two total parts. So what about the top number? The top number is the numerator. It tells how many parts of the whole we're talking about. So for half a dia, we want one of the two parts. Hey, that was pretty easy. Told you. Uh-oh. No time to waste. Here comes another order. A three-quarter dia. Okay, Zoe. Figure it out. Well, the denominator's four, so that means we need a quesadilla that's divided into four equal pieces. This one won't work. Good thinking. But this one will. And since we need three quarters... Because the numerator's three... I'll just take these three and pop them on a plate. There. Three out of four quarters. Whoa, watch it. Don't worry, I've got it. I'm starting to get this fraction stuff, too. You just gotta think in parts and wholes. Told you. But fractions aren't only for when you cook. They come into play in sports, too. A football game's divided into four quarters. So's a basketball game. Hey, a dollar is two. And, oh my gosh, I just realized my music's divided into fractions. Half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes. That rocks. Yep, fractions are all around us. Whether the numerator and denominator are stacked like this, or they have a slash between them, they still mean the same thing. I'm all for that. Let's go over this fraction stuff one more time. Every fraction is part of a whole. Whether it's a whole quesadilla, a whole football game, a whole dollar. The denominator of the fraction tells the total number of equal parts in the whole. And the numerator tells how many parts of the whole you're talking about. It doesn't matter if the numerator's on top of the denominator or they're next to each other with a slash between them. They still mean the same thing. Excellente! You're a real fractionista. Yeah, thanks to you. How about some lunch? Make it a double dia! 